Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin ang isosceles triangle. Pero bago tayo magsimula, pakilike naman itong video. At kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe, ay masubscribe ka na. At kapag ginawa mo yun, matutupad ang iyong mga pangarap. Like ano nga ba ang isosceles triangle? Two sides of isosceles triangle are congruent. So yung dalawang side ng isosceles triangle ay equal. For example, we have triangle ABC here. So yung line AB at line AC, yun yung equal side niya. At yung equal na side na yun, yun yung tinatawag na legs. At yung isa pang side, yun naman yung tinatawag na base. Ang base nito is line BC. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, then angles opposite these sides are congruent then. So di ba yung congruent sides is line AB and line AC. So yung angle doon, yung dalawang angle na yan, yan ay congruent din. At yun yung tinatawag na base angles. So angle B and angle C are congruent. And then yung isa pang angle, yung angle A, yun yung tinatawag na vertex angle. Let's have an example. In the given figure, if line DF is congruent to line EF, find X. So itong dalawang side na to ay equal. So that is 2X plus 3 is equal to 3x minus 5. So, hanapin lang natin yung value ng x. So, combining like terms, pagsamayin natin yung parehong may x at yung walang x. So, that is 2x, positive 3x, pag nilipat, pag tinanspose, magiging negative 3x. And that is equal to negative 5, positive 3, pag nilipat, magiging negative 3. So, 2x minus 3x, that is negative x. And that is equal to negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. So, hindi naman pwedeng maging negative x to. So, anong gagawin natin? So, ang gagawin lang natin, multiply lang natin both side by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative x is x. And that is equal to negative 8 times negative 1, that is positive 8. O, tanggalin lang natin yung negative sign. So, x is equal to 8. Next example, angle M is 6x minus 9. So, ito yung angle M. So, this is 6x minus 9. And angle O, ito naman yun, that is 4, 4x plus 7. Then, itong dalawang sign na to ay congruent. So, ibig sabihin, itong dalawang angle na to ay congruent din. So, that is 6x minus 9 is equal to 4x plus 7. Hanapin natin yung value ng x. So, combining like terms, so that is 6x positive 4x pag tira ng suppose, magiging negative 4x. And that is equal to 7. Posi negative 9, pag nilipat, magiging positive 9. So, 6x minus 4x, that is 2x. And that is equal to 7 plus 9 is 16. Okay, so divide both sides by 2, yung kasama ng x. So, itong 2 dito, maka-cancel out na to. So, dito, x na lang matitira. And, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So, x is equal to 8. Next example. So, itong figure na to, itong angle M is 48 degrees. And, angle A is 3x degrees. So, ano kaya yung angle T? So, dahil nga equal tong dalawang to, ito ay 3x degrees din. Okay, so, napin natin yung value ng x. So, paano natin mawahanap yung value ng x? Mahanap natin yung value ng x kapag dahil ang triangle, pag pinag mo lahat ng interior angles niya, that is equal to 180 degrees. So, that is 3x plus 3x plus 48 is equal to 180. Combining like terms, so 3x plus 3x is 6x. 
plus 48 is equal to 180. Okay? So, 48 transpose natin. So, that is 6x is equal to 180 minus 48. So, 6x is equal to 180 minus 48 is that is equal to 132. Okay, so divide both side by 6, yung kasama ng x. So itong 6 makakanceled out na to. So x na lang matitira. Okay, so x is equal to 132 divided by 6. That is equal to... That is equal to 22. So x is equal to... 22.